Hey guys, uh, Matt Brown here from Pentecook School Martial Arts. I didn't get to do my Monday message because it was a holiday week or you know four-day weekend. So um, I've been thinking a lot about, and I do a lot of thinking, as you can see. I've been thinking about commitment and people making commitments and keeping commitments and those type of things. And it's something that comes up over and over and over again. You know, um, one of the biggest things that we don't realize is that the things that we teach our young people today are the things that they'll carry over with them for the rest of their lives. The younger years, when they're in elementary school, are the formative years. That's where they're learning reading, writing, spelling, uh, arithmetic, all those, the, form, the foundation, the formulation of their life later on. But outside of the school, there are other things that we teach them, things like discipline, confidence, commitment, all those different aspects, okay? And the biggest thing with commitment is we, we let kids start all kinds of activities, okay? And we let them quit. And some parents, not all, but some parents just let them quit just like that. Whenever, you know, I'm, I'm bored, I don't wanna do it anymore. Okay, well, you can quit. What does that teach that child? It teaches them that later on in life, because it's not going to change somewhere along the line. Um, you've already set that foundation. It teaches the child that, you know, hey, you know, I don't like my marriage. I think I'll quit. 50%. 50% is the divorce rate right now in the United States. 50% of all marriages end in divorce. Um, it teaches the kid, hey, you know, if I don't like my job, I'll quit it. You know, and in today's world, quitting a job and trying to find another one is a huge challenge. Um, it's not like it used to be many, many years ago where you could kind of quit a job and have another one like a week later, if even that. You know, I remember um, leaving one job and, and going right to another job, you know, within hours. So um, commitment is something that we, we need to talk about and we need to address and we need to work on. Okay, and commitment, the actual word commitment means the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or an activity. Now, commitment can be a short-term commitment or it can be a long-term commitment. Now, a marriage obviously is a very long-term commitment. You know, if you take it seriously in the institution of marriage, it's gonna be a long-term commitment till death do we part. But maybe something like, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose 20 pounds that could be a short-term commitment depending on how long it takes you to lose that weight but you're not going to be losing 20 pounds forever because if you did you'd waste away so really you need to think about your your and your children and your message to your children about committing to something okay and committing to something means that you're actually going to do it not just when it's convenient not when it's easy, not when it's just a, uh, a, you know, I don't have anything else to do, so I'm going to go today, okay? You know, one of the things I've, I've discovered in the health and fitness industry and in, you know, helping people, coaching people with weight loss and their fitness goals is that people don't commit. They, you know, they say that they want to lose, you know, 20, 30, 40 pounds, but it's something where you have to work it in the kitchen. You have to be committed to eating healthy. You have to be committed to prepping your meals. You have to be committed to eating properly. And then you have to go to the gym or whatever you do for your exercise. You have to commit to it and it has to be something that you do on a regular basis. Yes, there are gonna be times when you can't do it because life pops up. Maybe you have got called into work. Maybe you're sick and you just, you really shouldn't go to the gym and push it. But other than that, it should be a consistent and regular thing that you do over and over and over again. And you need to decide when you sign your child up, specifically for martial arts, am I gonna have this be a short-term commitment for my child? In other words, am I gonna let them do their trial month, maybe a month after that, and decide if this is something that they really, really wanna do? That's a test run, that's a short-term commitment. And there's nothing wrong with that. Or the long-term commitment. Am I gonna enroll my child or I'm gonna enroll myself in the martial arts and am I gonna go all the way to the very first goal, which is black belt, okay? That's a long-term commitment. It can be anywhere from six to 12 years. And you've gotta be ready that there are gonna be hard times, 
that they're going to be easy times, that there's going to be plateaus, that there's going to be frustration, but that's part of committing to something. And if you push through those times, you're going to build yourself into a very, very successful, powerful person who can take that skill of committing to something and apply it to just about anything. And if you do that, you're, you're guaranteed to have success. When I say success, when I'm talking about success, I'm not meaning you know tons of money and fame and fortune. I'm talking about living the life that you're comfortable with and living the life that you want to live, that you enjoy. Now, for me personally, my goals in my life, my commitment is to have a small private dojo with about 100 students that I can change and affect and help their lives, that are going to change and affect and help my life. They're going to provide me with a comfortable living so I can pay my bills, but so that I can enjoy time with my family. Because for me, that seems to be the most important thing. As many of you know, I didn't have like the best family life growing up. But um, so for me, family is very, my family, my immediate family is very important. My wife and my daughter are probably the most important things to me. We want to talk about commitment. My daughter, Justice, has been doing martial arts since she was four and a half. She's 14 now. And I told her when she started this that I have one and one rule only, that she is to go all the way to black belt. When she gets her black belt, she can stop training in the martial arts and she can go try other things and do other things. But I've set that foundation. If after 6 to 12 years of committing to something, you're not a master of commitment, then obviously there's, some, there's a disconnect somewhere and we're never going to make you a master of commitment. But if you can stick to something for 6, 12, 25, 50 years, man, that means you can commit to anything that you put your mind to. It's all a matter of what's important to you. And... For parents, I know we run into the, you know, well, I don't make my child do anything they don't want to do. I don't want to force them to go to the dojo. I don't. You force your child to do something every single day. You force them to get up in the morning. You force them to go to school. You force them to go to bed at a certain time. You force them to eat at a certain time. We spend our whole entire day making our children do things that they truly don't want to do. Because trust me, I have a teenager now, and the last thing she wants to do is get up at a certain time and do anything other than watch TV or play on her devices. You know, maybe she might want to read once in a while, but the reality of it is I make her do things all day long that she doesn't want to do, okay? So the the whole I don't make my child do anything they don't want to do is not true, okay? But the things that you make your child do, you force them to do, you force them to do it because it is good for them. And it's going to empower them and build the skills they need for when they move out into the real world. And that's what parenting is about. Because, you know, teaching is parenting, parenting is teaching. And that's really what we're doing is we're teaching our kids all the skills that we've developed in our lives, hopefully, and to take them out into the world, okay? And a great thing about enrolling your child in martial arts is that you get a partner in it. You get someone who's there, people that are there to help you teach and reinforce those values and those traits in your child. So really, take a look at what you're committed to and always, always revisit and reanalyze and say, am I really showing commitment to this? Am I really committing myself to this? And really, the best way to quantify your commitment is to go, what am I benefiting from this? How is it improving my life? How is it changing my life? And that is a very empowering question, and that is a very empowering thing. I apologize for the length of this video. Um, got a lot on my mind when it comes to commitment. It's a, uh, something that's near and dear and passionate to my, to my heart because I see a lot of people go from one thing to the next to the next, and then they wonder why they're never successful and why they never complete things. And it's because they don't truly commit to um, things in their lives. And I've watched even close family members, they, 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 they start something, they stop it, they start something, everything from, from divorces and, and family members to jobs to, um, all, you know, all kind, their health and well-being. So, you know, it's, it's personal, it's up close, and guys, just, if you're going to do this, commit to it a thousand percent, make it a scheduled thing, get in here, train, 
and do what you need to do. Um, if you know somebody who needs this kind of help, send them our way. If not, train hard, inspire others, and live life to the fullest. And I hope to see you in class. And if you need help with your commitment, come see me. Have a good day.